Hello everyone, welcome to Wednesday's update from Forward Free Methodist Church. I hope you're having a good week despite all the challenges and trials we're facing at this time. Just to encourage you, we're in the middle of our week of prayer and as we've been going through it, uh, meeting at 7am, 2pm and 7pm on Zoom for just half an hour, it's been a real encouragement to see many of you getting involved um, in praying in those half hours and just taking that time to come together and pray and just get a real sense of the heartbeat of what the, a new thing might be for us as a church. If you've not managed to meet with us yet, there's still time to do so. We're continuing those meetings at those times till Saturday. But even if you can't make it, please do commit to just spending some time with God, asking for yourself, what's the new thing God might want to do in my life this year? But also, what is the new thing God wants to do in us as a church this year? And then please do uh, get back in touch with us uh, if you feel or sense God is really saying something to you. It would be great to hear from you. Can I encourage those of you in Energize? Uh, Rebecca said last week, uh, in last Sunday service, about as you're out on a walk, maybe um, taking pictures of, of creation and seeing some new things. And you've still got time to send those in um, before Friday, if possible, so we can get them uploaded ready for the service on Sunday. And we're really looking forward to Sunday's live stream service at 11 a.m., where Dan Feeney is going to be bringing the next in the series of messages on a new thing uh, about being greater than anything that's happened before. And we just want to encourage you to be there to, to hear that message. Um, and to spend time together in seeking God uh, during the service. Also, just to say we are uh, starting a new Freedom in Christ course next Tuesday. There's still some spaces available on that. So if you'd like to or you, you for you to get involved in that or you know someone who might be it might be beneficial to be on the Freedom in Christ course, then please do get in contact with Pastor Lawrence through the church office or on his email directly. I just want to read from Isaiah 43 verse 1. It says, Fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by name. You are mine. Firstly, he has redeemed us. He has claimed us back through his son, Jesus Christ. Wow. Such a great love that God has for each and every one of us that he gave his son for us that he might redeem us back to himself but also that he knows us and summons us by name. He knows your name and he knows my name and he wants us to be his. Do you know that for yourself today? So often our names are used in different contexts. I think in my own house, it's it's my, my son Sam's birthday today. And sometimes he knows that when the way we call his name, it's because he may have done something or not done something um, that he sh should have done. And, you know, God doesn't want to use our name as an angry parent, but actually as one who's calling us to himself. So as you seek God this week, may you know he is calling you by name this week. I hope you have a good rest of the week. I hope to see you uh, at some point soon. But in the meantime, know that you are his and he is yours. God bless you.